Hello all back again, I'm just going to show you my Pi Core player build. It's something I should have done a while ago, but for some reason I never just uh, I never got round to it. Right, as you can see I'm using the official 7 inch touch screen. I can't remember the name of the case I'm using, so via the magic of editing, it's this one. The only problem with this case is, let me just spin it around, I think you can see there. The legs block the lower two USB sockets so you can't use them unless you find a, like a right angle adapter you can only use the top two USBs that's the only pain with that case well with this case just spin it around just move the wires out of the way let me be careful right let's get it in the light I'm using a uh, Pi 3. In the past I've used a Pi 2 which worked fine. I know you've got a Pi 4 which has been out about a year now. But if you want to save yourself some pennies I would go with a Pi 3. It works perfectly fine. Even a Pi 2 worked perfectly fine. So if you want to save yourself a bit of money just go for a Pi. I recommend a Pi 3. Also I'm using a Seagate USB hard drive. The thing I like about the Seagate drives are when you first buy one, there's a bit of Seagate software which you install on your PC, plug the drive in and you can set a spin down timer. So it doesn't matter what uh, device you plug the drive into, it will always spin down, which is handy. Also I'm using a uh, USB DAC, a Meridian Explorer 2. It's one of them things, uh, growing up, I always wanted to own some Meridian Hi-Fi. But if anyone knows, Meridian Hi-Fi is high-end. And uh, so unless you're a footballer or you've won the lottery, it's not something well, the likes of me can afford. But I saw they, they did have the original Explorer. But I didn't know anything about that. But I was reading about the Explorer too. So I thought I'd have a read. I thought myself, I'm not going to be able to afford it. But I saw the price when I bought mine it was about £150 which is still a lot of money for me but my birthday was coming up so I thought I'd treat myself and I have to say I do like the sound quality of this stack it's got a nice warm I would say laid-back sound it's the sort of sound where you put your hi-fi on in the morning and you're still listening to listen to it in the evening you don't get sort of like any fatigue sort of thing but even if you're sort of like playing some 90s rave music, it's still, it'll still have your uh, toes tapping. So I'm happy I bought the DAC. But if I was buying any hi-fi, I do recommend it doesn't matter how much you're spending. Always make sure you listen to it first. But I took the risk and bought it online. And I have to say I'm uh, very happy with it. So I do recommend this DAC. If you ever buy a uh, Meridian DAC you've got a line out and you've got a headphone jack I use a line out to my amplifier which is a Yamaha AS500 with a set of uh, JPW Sonata speakers you can either use one of these adapters which is a get it in focus which is a 3.5 to RCA you just plug it into the uh, line out on the left it's a circle with the arrow or you can use one of these leads which is uh, 3.5 to RCA so it's up to you if you use the adapter then use your own RCA leads or just use a lead like the one on the right entirely up to you Oh, also, as you can see from the top here, I'm running two power supplies. I'm running two official power supplies in. I'm doing that because I'm running a USB drop, two USB uh, devices, say the hard drive and the DAC. And if I was to just, you can get uh, adapters to go across the two to one's power supply. And the problem with that, I always see a low power warning on the screen. So I run two official power supplies. One runs the screen and the other one runs the Raspberry Pi 
plus the USB devices. But if say you're only using a DAC or say the hard drive, down the bottom of the Raspberry Pi, I'll just move my hand out of the way. You can put jumpers across the pins from the Raspberry Pi to the screen to power. So you're getting power from the Raspberry Pi into the screen. You can do it that way to make everything nice and neat. But I have to run two power supplies. It's the only way I can uh, not get the uh, low power warning. So that's my uh, Pi Core player setup. Let me just spin around again. She's running the clock at the moment. So as always, uh, I hope this video's helped and uh, goodbye.